to like pop it back in. <laughs> to receive the latest updates so you guys know when I'm posting my newest videos and you guys get to them first. So today we're doing an awesome workout. We're doing a back and shoulder workout specifically if you've ever had any sort of uh, shoulder injury, dislocation, subluxation, rotator cuff, any shoulder, oh I can't talk today, any sort of shoulder, <laughs> any sort of shoulder injury, that's what we're going to do today. We're talking about how to warm up your shoulders before the workout, how to make sure your shoulder's safe during the entire back and shoulder workout and everything in between. Um, I have wanted to do this video for a really long time. Reason being is that I'm born with loose ligaments. Uh, basically what that means is that my joints are super over flexible, like ridiculously over flexible. And it's, it's funny because a lot of the times people are like, hey Luba, I want to be as flexible as you. And I'm like, no, you really don't. You really don't. Um, flexibility is really good. It's super important for us. And that's why I do yoga. That's why I do mobility. Um, but for me personally, I'm actually born with too much flexibility. So my shoulders, my shoulder dislocates, my knees to dislocate, um, back in high school, like all the time, guys, I would have to like pop it back in. <laughs> no joke. You can ask my parents. Um, they were like, we need to put you in a in a bubble wrap to send you off to high school. Like you're just gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> it's really true though, guys. So um, actually one of the reasons I started strength training is because um, my knee used to dislocate and I went to go see every type of sports, uh, doctor, heliopath, physiotherapist, you name it. My mom brought me there because she was like, what is wrong with my child? She keeps hurting herself. So basically I went to go see everyone you could think of. And then finally in the very end, um, a really nice lady, a naturopath was like, listen, I'm gonna save you a lot of money and your time. There's nothing you can do. And me and my mom just look at each other like, what, what do you mean there's nothing I can do? There has to be something I can do. And she's like, no, like you're born with loose ligaments. There's the only thing you can do is strengthen the muscles around your joints. So strengthen, literally the joint so that they don't dislocate. And I was like, okay, well, how do I do that? And she's like, you need to go weight train. You need to go lift. You need to go exercise in the gym. You need to build muscle and strengthen your joints so that they don't dislocate. That's the only thing that's going to save you. So guys, if you want to know more about my story and why I weight train, why I do yoga and kind of <laughs> my story on how I got to where I am today, please comment below. I would love to share that with you. It's a pretty crazy story back from my days on the cruise ship. So you're obviously watching this video for a reason because you've probably had a shoulder injury of your own. Um, so comment below what you've had or just ouch. Um, so that I know that you're in this with me and I'm not alone um, having all these shoulder injuries and trying to work out as well. So I want to make sure that, you know, I can help you guys. If you have any questions, just comment below. So comment ouch if you've ever had a shoulder injury of your own and let's get right into the workout. Hey guys, so welcome back to another workout. Today we're doing back and shoulders and I'm so pumped. For my back and shoulder workouts, I always warm up on the rowing machine just because that's exactly what you do when we row. We use our back and our shoulders. I always like warming up for about three to five minutes, but you guys do whatever you guys normally do. So the most important thing when dealing with shoulder injuries is making sure that you can retract your shoulders properly in every exercise that you're doing. And the way to do that is to warm up properly with bands. So we're going to be doing five different shoulder warming exercises to make sure that we're really prepping our shoulder girdle, our shoulder blades, the front part of the shoulder and the back part of the shoulder. Literally we're going to be training the entire shoulder all the way around because our shoulder is a ball and socket joint, which means that it moves the most freely out of all the joints in our entire body, which also means it is more prone to injury. Just like you know for myself, I have shoulder dislocations. They happen often. But if I train my shoulders properly, like these five warm-up exercises, and I do them at least a few times a week, my shoulders 
aren't as likely to dislocate and I am able to do a lot more. And I'm able to do really cool things like handstands. Speaking of shoulder stands and shoulder presses, here are some handstands I love throwing in in my warm up when I do shoulders because it stabilizes my joints and I just love doing them because they're fun and they look amazing. Um, what do you guys like doing in your workouts for fun or for calisthenics? Comment below. Okay guys, so once I feel like my shoulders are warmed up, it's now time for back workout. For the back workout today, I started off with some pull-ups. I did them um, free weight, so just my body weight, uh, which was quite challenging. I was able to do about five for four sets. Um, usually I do bands sometimes if my shoulders are a little more sore or I don't feel as strong, but today I felt good and I wanted to challenge myself, so do what you do for your pull-ups. Next off, we're going to be doing bent over rows. Now, it's super important to be setting up this proper properly by bringing your shoulders up, back, and down, and then dragging the bar and down your entire quad to about your mid shin, and then retracting the shoulders and pulling the elbows all the way up to the sky, squeezing your back, and then slowly going down. Now, I want to give you guys a little trick that I like to think about when I'm squeezing my back. What I always tell my clients is that you want to imagine like your spine is a hot dog and your back is a bun and you want to squeeze that hot dog as much as possible and really make that bun, you know, engulf your hot dog or your back spine. I hope that helps. Our next exercise is going to be a straight bar pull down or I was just using the bands for a straight arm pull down. Really retracting the shoulder blades, keeping your shoulders back, your core engaged, and pulling all the way down and slowly coming back up to the starting position. After that, I went right into face pulls. Uh, face pulls, you keep your elbows a little up more to the side, and this is for the upper mid part of your back. They're really good for your rear delt development, which also stabilizes your shoulder. Then after I went into shoulder presses, I'm gonna show a couple different angles so you guys can really see um, how I do my shoulder presses. The most important thing is to be bringing your arms right in line with the ears at the top of the exercise and coming down nice and slow. Of course, keeping your core engaged and smiling the entire time because training our shoulders and training in general is fun. Pressing all the way up, slowly coming down. And finally, to finish off our shoulder workout today, we're gonna to be doing a giant quad set. So a four exercises, starting off with this one here called Shoulder Bombers, created by Sarah Bomer. I love this exercise because it really puts your shoulder in every single plane. And oh my God, does it burn. You're gonna see my face in a second here. It's intense, but it's so much fun. And you don't need much weight, guys. I'm using five pounds and you can see it. It's burning inside. Next, we're moving on to lateral raises. This is my favorite exercise. As you can see, I'm keeping the same five pounds for this exercise. For the, the entire quad set, I'm gonna be using five pounds because we are doing four exercises, and the idea is not to use heavy weights rather than to do a lot of reps and very little rest in between each exercise. Our third exercise is front raises. So we're bringing our arms straight up in front of us and smiling through it because we love to exercise. And finally guys, our last exercise in this quad set is shoulder rear delt flies. Probably one of the most important for shoulder stability, so don't forget it. Make sure you do it. It is a very little muscle, but very, very important. Have an amazing day, guys. I hope you learned something. Like this video. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and um, stay tuned for my next video. It'll be up in a few days. I'll be doing either a little bit of motivation or it'll be a workout. So stay tuned. I don't know what's going to be. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye.